What is going on everybody? Dan with Gear Focus here and today we're going to be talking about something that's a little bit different. It's cages for your favorite Atomos monitor. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and we will jump right into it. Now I know cages for your monitors is not exactly the most popular topic out there. Some of you probably didn't even know that they made cages for monitors. But this is something that does not only add protection to your monitor, but also adds the increased functionality of adding a cage to it. Now the setup that I am talking about specifically today is the Nitsa cage for the Atomos Shinobi and Ninja 5. I've been using this cage on my Atomos Shinobi for a couple weeks now and I can confirm that it has in fact added some functionality to my monitor. The first thing that I want to talk about with this cage is the fact that it does protect your monitor very well. I actually just had an incident on set the other day where a gust of wind knocked over a scrim and it knocked the monitor off of its stand into my camera. Fortunately my camera was fine. I did lose a filter in the process, but the camera was fine and also the monitor was fine even after taking quite a tumble. Now another thing with this cage specifically is that it does come with a sun hood. And when we're outside on bright days on set, it does really, really help to have something to block that sun away from your reflective monitor surface. Now in terms of functionality of this cage, it does have quarter 20 attachment points all over the cage. What this does is it allows you to add different attachments to your monitor, such as a follow focus wheel like this one from Tilta, or a microphone, or a light, or something like that. This cage from Nitsa also fits really, really well and has that awesome matte black finish that all of their cages have, such as the R5, R6 cage, which we reviewed in another video. You can check that video out at this link up here. Overall, I do really like this cage. I was kind of skeptical about adding a cage to my monitor at first, but I'm honestly really glad I did, especially after that incident that I had on set the other day. I'm really curious if monitor cages are something that you guys are running or if you've even considered running a cage on your monitor. And if so, let me know what monitor you're using and what cage you're using down in those comments down below. And as always, while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as that kind of stuff really does make a difference to us here on this YouTube channel. And also make sure to check out gearfocus.com if you're looking to buy or sell some camera gear. For now, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace. Right here. Right? Is that right? Yeah, I think. Or I'll do another one with the other side.